Bulls Nation, last season, last year in the NBA draft, we decided that we were going to go after a player that we ended up having to draft and stash and keep in his league for one more year. And one year has passed. We now have news about this player and we now have some official news about this player. And in the end, it's news that I feel is very exciting for the Chicago Bulls. We're going to be getting a brand new player coming into this team and there could be potentially something about this player that can make us very optimistic. If you don't know who I'm talking about, his name is Marko Simonovic. I have talked about him before. This is my official video talking about him today as an official member of the Chicago Bulls roster. Without further ado, let's talk about him in this video. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a Chicago Bulls related video and this one is referring to Marco Simonovic. In the end, a draft and stash player in the 2020 NBA draft, second rounder as well. He's now come and he's now officially joined the Chicago Bulls and he will be playing for the Chicago Bulls in this upcoming season for us. Very, very big news there and I'm very excited to see what is to come from this player. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this player and what do you think he can be with the Chicago Bulls in technically his rookie season in the NBA and for the Chicago Bulls. There's a lot to discuss in relation to this player, but this is not going to be a particularly long video in my opinion. So at the end of the day... This guy's still a relatively unknown player. Many people have kept tabs on him. Obviously, he has been drafted by the Chicago Bulls. So it is expected that many people would keep tabs on him. Many people will try and figure out the type of player that he is. But he's relatively unproven at the NBA stage. And he's unproven at the NBA level. Which is one of the highest, if not the highest level of basketball you could reach. So... He is a little bit of an unknown factor here. However, there are many reasons why I believe this has happened. And obviously, this has happened for a reason. At the end of the day, the Chicago Bulls could have kept him back in his league for another year. We could have ended up de declining his option to come to the Chicago Bulls in general. But we didn't do any of those things. And there needs to be a number of reasons, in my opinion, for that to happen. But first things first, before we look at that, we need to look at his uh, season averages for his team. Again, I don't know the team that he played for. I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really know how to say the name. But he averages was 15.7 points per game, 1.7 assists per game, and 9.1 rebounds per game. Solid numbers for Marco Simonovic, if you ask me, especially from another league. At the end of the day, this guy has a lot to his game, in my opinion, especially on the offensive end. He still has a lot to prove, of course. At the end of the day, he's a second-round pick, after all. Many people are trying to compare him to other players. Many people are trying to compare him to very good players. At the end of the day, none of these things we are aware of just yet. None of these things we'll truly know just yet. But... There's always optimism for a new player coming to the Chicago Bulls, and there's clearly a reason that his front office, as well as Marco himself, decided to join the Chicago Bulls. Because let's be honest, if Marco was going to come here and not get guaranteed game time, at the end of the day, if he had that meeting with the Chicago Bulls, if the Chicago Bulls really didn't want to use Marco, and Marco really didn't want to come here without game time, at the end of the day, I don't think this would have been a deal that would have happened this season. Maybe it could have happened down the line, but especially this season, well, this upcoming season where we have so many undecided, I guess, players. We don't know who's coming in, who's leaving. We don't know all of these things. It was, it's, it's very hard to make a deal like this happen when you have no guarantees. But I feel like the Chicago Bulls have given Marco a guarantee that he will get game time this upcoming season. And that is the biggest confidence booster. At the end of the day, it didn't take long for him to come from wherever he was from to Chicago and... Straight away, pretty much, he got signed up. He got signed up to the, sh to the Chicago Bulls. So there's clearly an element of confidence in the front office, in Billy Donovan. Of course, this is a decision that should not be taken lightly. This was probably a decision that was long in the works. But this is now a decision that has come true. He's going to be playing for the Chicago Bulls. He's going to be leaving his league and joining the NBA and playing for the Chicago Bulls. That's a big, big thing in my opinion. Now... As I said before, I believe he'll get game time. I don't see why this would happen if he wasn't going to get game time. But is he going to get significant game time and what do I expect from him? Well, significant game time, 
I would tr I would like to think he'd get significant game time. At the end of the day, we still don't know what's going to be happening with a lot of our power forwards or centers. We don't know what's happening with Larry Markkinen. We don't really know what's happening with Thaddeus Young. He could be a trade asset. We don't know what's happening with Daniel Tice. He could potentially leave in free agency as well. We don't know any of these things. So Marco Seminovic could be a player that maybe takes the reins over one of those players. And at the end of the day, Mo ma mainly, I think he's more of a Larry Markkinen type player. He's an offensive-minded threat. He does have a little bit of defense, but at the end of the day, I think his main priority is paint production, and he has the ability to shoot from a pick and pop. Those are the main traits I see out of him more often than not when I watch him. So he's going to be probably that type of player, which means that maybe he takes the reins over Larry Markkinen. Maybe this is an indication that Larry Markkinen could leave the Chicago Bulls if we're bringing a, a like replacement. I've always thought that at the end of the day, but again, I don't really deal with hypotheticals. That's what I think. I think he's a replacement for Larry Markkinen, but I'm not going to come out and say that officially because you just don't know in the NBA. Larry Markkinen could very well stay here for a few years to come. We don't really know, but in terms of the Chicago Bulls, he's going to be playing. That's the thing. That's all I'm trying to say. He's going to be playing. He's going to get game time, but I want to see him in the summer league and i really hope there is a summer league i still don't know any news about that obviously the olympics are happening right now um australia beat the united states who would have thought that would have happened of course i'm very proud of my country there i am australian if you didn't know but there's a lot of basketball going or going around you know you got the nba finals you got the olympics and you got all of these things i hope there's a summer league here for the chicago bulls after the nba draft of course happens because we get to see marcus semenovic play and play in an not in an nba fashion but play in a way where most people will get the opportunity to see him He's going to be playing maybe in preseason games as well and he's gonna be playing with a lot of other players that we have high hopes for so He's going to try and fit in that category. And I'm really, really excited to see what he's all about. I'm really excited to see if this is the guy that can help us and elevate us. At the end of the day, one player could really make a difference on this team. We're kind of the in-between stage. A lot of people believe we're a good team. A lot of people think that we just need a few more pieces. We can become a very good team. At the end of the day, this might be a player where, yes, maybe rookie season, we, we don't expect much out of him. He could very well be good. He could, he could not have a terrific season. And patience is always required. But maybe this could be the guy with the offensive weapons that, the, that he has. If he's able to use them at the NBA level, he could take us to another level of the Chicago Bulls. But I do see him as a bench player as well, just to say that straight away. I don't see him as an automatic starter. Again, he's a second round pick. Um, he's not going to really get guaranteed starting minutes. He's going to have to earn his way through it. But at the end of the day, we've, see, we've seen this from Artorias before, where he's drafted players that no one knows, hidden gem type players, and we progress and elevate those players, or Artorias from other teams, elevate those players, make those players step up, and they become fantastic players. Jokic is an MVP. He wasn't a top five pick. So that's very that's that's simple as that. These things can happen. It can happen in the second round. It can happen in the late first. It can happen mid first. It can, it can happen in the lottery and it can happen as the number one pick. That's the beauty of the NBA draft and that's the beauty of the NBA in general. You can get stars from anywhere if you look hard enough and if you could truly see what a player can do beyond the he's ready now mentality. He might not be ready now. He might be ready five years from now, but in those five years, we could see a fantastic player that all those ready now players that are coming out of the draft might not be able to do in five years time. So this is the optimism that we have. This is the hopeful optimism that I have with this player. At the end of the day, there are no guarantees in this league. I feel like he's coming to play. I feel like he's gonna get game time because I just don't see the point in that happening if there wasn't no game time for him. But we're gonna have to wait and see truly what kind of player this is. And this is a this is a good thing for the Chicago Bulls. We're bringing fresh blood into this team and we're bringing new ways to score and maybe some ways to defend as well. I always like new players coming into this team and hopefully he'll make us a better team for that. At the end of the day, I think he was a better suited, suited player than Felicio. I think he could be better than Luke Cornett as well. Those were the backups for this team for a long period of time. So we might already be an upgrade above what we had previously. So that's a good thing to see, but we're going to have to wait and see about all of that. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I'll be making, a, 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 I guess, a news video or more of an update video on a lot of the players I've been talking about recently. More news coming out about certain players. I've 
I've already talked about, and we're gonna be discussing that in a future video as well. But this is my video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts about Marko Semenovic is, and do you think he could be a great player for this team down the line? Optimism is key. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more Chicago Bulls videos. Take care.